स्पीकर्स एट अ सेमिनार ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द ऑल पार्टीज हुरियत कॉन्फ्रेंस आज़ाद जम्मू एंड कश्मीर चैप्टर इन इस्लामाबाद टुडे ड्रू द वर्ल्ड्स अटेंशन टुवर्ड्स द इंडियन ब्रुटैलिटीज इन द ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर द हुरियत लीडर्स ऑन द ओकेजन सेट द ब्रूटल मैथड्स ऑफ टॉर्चर बींग एम्प्लॉयड बाई इंडिया इन ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर हैव रेंडर्ड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ कश्मीरीज डिसेबल्ड फॉर लाइफ they said the use of pellet guns by indian troops on peaceful protesters damaged the eyesight of hundreds of kashmiris brutal and inhumane torture techniques employed by indian troops paramilitary forces and police personnel like the torture in custody firing on peaceful protesters in the territory have left thousands of kashmiris disabled for life including over 200 losing eyesight in one or both eyes A report released by Kashmir Media Service on the occasion of International Day of Persons with Disabilities today stated that among the most brutal tactics used in the territory by Indian troops to disable the Kashmiris include firing of bullets, pellets, tear gas and power shells on peaceful protesters as well as resorting to severe beatings like electric shock, crushing the leg muscles with wooden roller burning with heated objects and hanging upside down in the interrogation centers Jammu and Kashmir Muslim League has strongly condemned the continued illegal detention of its vice chairman Muhammad Yusuf Mir the JKML in a statement issued in Srinagar said that Muhammad Yusuf Mir had been languishing in jail for the last 6 years the occupation authority slapped draconian law public safety act three times on him but the court quashed the detention and ordered his release the us misses no opportunity to shower its favors on india and demonstrate its bias against pakistan and china as the us state department neglected recommendations of the us commission on international religious freedom to designate india as country of particular concern due to attacks on the religious minorities in the country instead it placed pakistan and china on the list On the other hand US Commission on International Religious Freedom has expressed outrage after finding that the US Department of State did not include India in its latest designations of countries of particular concern turning a blind eye to the country of particularly severe religious freedom violations The US CIRF chair Nuri Turkil in a message posted on the website of the organization said that there was no justification for the state department's failure to recognize India as violator of religious freedom.